In this video, I'm going to be giving you the first step for a successful bunch tight end offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden player that they can possibly become. And so if you are looking to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we're talking about the bunch tight end. And if you want to get my entire gun bunch tight end offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. You can get the entire offensive broken down in depth for just $15. It actually covers both the bunch, the bunch tight end, as well as the trips tight end offset. So it's a very, very good deal. And if you want to learn my exact offense that I like to run, that would be where you would start. Now the play that we're talking about in this video is a power play. It's a play that you must make go. It's a play that you will make go. And it is a play that you will run again and again and again. This is the foundation of any offensive scheme. If you think about it over the years, the trips tight end is also guilty of something like this. And the fact that it has the doubles in sale or the curl flat or the PA counter go some type of foundational play of which you start and then you build off of the bunch has the same concepts. If you think about it, it has flood, it has uh, mesh posts. It has uh, the, the jets dig play or the clear out SE out from the Seattle Seahawks. Every good offense has a foundation, a Lombardi sweep, a key lead domino play. And so for the bunch tight end, that is the PA boot over. This is the, the best passing concept that you can get when you talk about bunch tight end specifically. So how do you run this? Well, there's actually several different ways that you could run this, but the first way that we're gonna teach this and how you use this is we're actually going to show this against a cover three style of defense. And really the best way to run this play is to just simply take the X receiver, which is your tight end, put him on a delay fade, and then you're just gonna double team the far right hand player. Um, as you can see right here, I've double teamed him. And then I'm just gonna snap the ball and I'm gonna roll out. And what you're gonna notice is that the triangle receiver is going to almost always get open on the crossing route. Let me show you that one more time. And I just wanna share this with you because it's so, so significant to the stout. Because you have to understand whenever you're developing a power play, you have to understand, okay, I know that based off the way they're gonna play, I need to you know, work these couple of key routes. So right there, as you can see, we're able to basically beat a cover three Mabel. Now, one of the things that we're doing a little bit different in this video than we normally do is we're actually putting our flat zones as our deeper zone. It's gonna allow for better coverage on the play and it's going to make it a little bit better and a little bit tougher for us to be super, super consistent. But as you can see, whether it's a flat route or not, once I get to the sideline, it's an easy read over the top of that zone. So you might ask the question, well, what are they gonna do to stop this? Maybe they're gonna run something like a cover two. So if they use a cover two style of zone defense, we're gonna show you what that looks like. It looks just like this basically. Um, and then what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna you know, take this guy, uh, obviously put him on like a little hook curl. And basically this is the defense, same exact setup. And so what I just want you to watch, how this is gonna play. So now cover two on the sideline, what's gonna happen? Once again, as you can see, we're able to beat this coverage. Now the next setup is um, a cover three with deep half. So what happens if they deep half on their cover three, meaning they, pick, they take their outside corners and they put them in deep halves. As you can see, that's what I've kind of got going on right here. And so when you really dive into this, what you're gonna notice is that there's really nothing the defense can do to stop it. As you can see right there, that doesn't work. All three of those different, or four of those different defenses really aren't gonna work. And so what they're gonna try to do is they're gonna go to some type of little cover four style of defense, right? Something like this and they're gonna to have to begin to develop hybrid coverages because they're just not gonna be able to stop everything but this is one little step at which they could take that and that is to use essentially a standard cover four and if you watch how a standard cover four works you'll notice that this crossing route is taken away as you can see right here it's really not open um, because the outside quarter zone uh, actually will defend this relatively well. And so what that leaves for your opponent is he can basically run, you know, uh, essentially a Mabel coverage to the left side. So it could be something like this right here, you know, basically where they do this, 
you're going to see here that now what they've got is they've Mabel to the left. They're going to use her in the middle of the field, and this is what we've created. So this is the one defense that could give this a little bit of trouble. But as you can see, this little um, the beauty of this offense is you have the drag. You have other things that are going to be able to be very, very effective. Another thing that you can do that most people don't really understand when it comes to cover four is you could actually bomb this but it is a little tricky in how it's going to work so i'm just going to show you the post route here uh the post route it will um you see right here see how the inside quarter goes back to it just like that the inside quarter does what he needs to do there are ways that you can bomb this once you start to figure out that this is something that they're doing one of the easiest ways that you could do it is by taking your running back and basically putting him on a little option route this is like a very simple little strategy but oftentimes what's going to happen is that option route will like hold him um he didn't end up holding him here but as you can see all the way to the right and i have a little bit of a window but cover four is going to do a decent job it's probably the best thing that they can do for them to be able to stop the crossing route okay for them to be able to stop the crossing route that's the best thing for them to do the problem is that it creates a lot of other vulnerabilities for the defense so as you've as we already showed you um when we roll out with this thing right here this circle receiver is so easy to hit like it is such a consistent read and there's really two things that you can do with this you can hit it there the other thing that you can do is you can basically as you're rolling out here you can just playmaker him up and as you see, it's going to get you a couple more yards. Okay, if they're in a, if they have something like a hard flat out there, you could do that as well. Now, the real power of this is what it does against man-to-man -man coverage as well. So when we roll out, you're going to notice that we're going to get chased here, and then we're just going to basically release the tight end. As you can see, once you release the tight end, um, it's basically wide open, easy money that you can hit against the man-to-man -man coverage. Another thing that is really important to understand as far as man-to-man -man coverage, what do you do when they run man-to-man? -man? This circle receiver is actually very difficult to stop in man coverage. It's one of the better man beaters in the game. And then if you have your best wide receiver at that slot player running the crossing route, you're going to have quite a quite a lot of success against man coverage. And again, you can see it here, you know, as you can see, and then we're just going to release him. Even he beats man, he beats zone. People say that this is one of the hardest routes in the, in the game to defend. The beauty of this is this all is just the starting point. This is just the power play. This is just the foundation. There's so many things that you can do off of this play, but this is indeed the foundation. Now, if you wanted to beat the cover four from this specific play, um, the best way that I would know on how to tell you to do this is to basically take the triangle receiver and you're gonna put him on a, like a little hitch. So you have a little hitch, little option route. You got some stuff holding underneath. This now gives this a little bit of an opportunity. Didn't end up getting over the top on that play, unfortunately. But there, uh, there are ways that you can get over the cover four, and we're going to dive into those throughout this scheme. But just know the cover four drop is really the best defense that they can call possibly. But at the same time, it does not completely stop the play. It stops one route on the play. And again, one other little thing that you can do uh, just really quickly here one other little thing that you can do to get this open is to go ahead and just streak the tight end if you streak the tight end you're going to see he's going to bring all of this all of these guys over here and you're going to have a nice little window to hit the crossing route so that is something that you just need to be under aware of and understanding uh, the beauty of bunch tight end is there's so many things you can do with this um, and again another easy way if you wanted to make sure that you were still able to have the delay fade would be to just simply take this guy put him on the numbers right here and then just put him on a little fade you see that the outside quarter is going to run with him and it's going to lead this guy wide open so those are some little tools that you can use but the beauty of the bunch tight end is it is very very simple and that is what makes it so powerful i honestly think that a lot of people in this year's game didn't really use bunch tight end to its fullest potential um, i think that it's actually much better than people realize and so if you want to learn exactly how i would recommend running bunch tight end you can get that entire offensive guide in the description of this video it actually comes with bunch bunch tight end and trips tight end offset you really only need one of those three any of those three will be effective bunch tight end is super super hard to guard and again if you want to get that offense I'm going to leave a link to that offense in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900. And again, if you want to get my bunch tight end offensive guide, you can get that down in the description for just $15.